Hello guys, today we are going to look at this free plugin for WordPress which enables you to connect your Zoom with your WordPress. So what this we are currently featuring this version of 3.3.2 at this time of recording. So uh, what this plugin does is allow you to post and link your live meetings uh, in your WordPress website and then show them in the front end accordingly and uh, so uh, allow the users to join directly from your browser itself and all that stuff so let's take a deeper look into this right. uh, we will need to first install the plugin so let's go into the and we search for this plugin so it will show you this just install and activate since this is already activated in mine so we are good to go so after the uh, activation the first thing you'll see is the zoom meeting tab here so just click on this and it should take you to the settings page like so so these are asking for your api key and api secret so to uh, generate this just click on the documentation link over here and then you will be right to uh, this url here so uh, and click on the api key integration and this guide will pretty much teach you on how to generate your api keys and add them to the settings page as well so all you need to create is a jwt token and then after that we are good to go so i already have created the token so i'll just copy and paste them in this space here so the key is the this one and the secret is so let me save the changes so after saving the changes uh, if you need to check your api keys are correct working or not just click on this button and then it will show you if the AV connection is good or not so that's about it on making the API connection so now we are going to look at the uh, difference between what's the difference between the live meetings and uh, post type meetings so as you can see in this talk there is called meeting types and it's called one is post type meetings and one is actual live meetings so uh, to differentiate them you can also see here there is all meetings and live meetings so live meetings are basically the meetings which are not linked to your wordpress website these are directly coming from your uh, zoom account so first on how to uh, view your live meetings just select your users from here so i'll select mine here so this is kind of a list of meetings over here you can see right so it's coming from my zoom account directly so if you, you can start directly via app or uh, choose to start via browser or you know so so this meeting directly by copying and then show this meeting as a short code so this is what the live meeting is and now let's go to the post type meeting so this post type meeting are the meetings which will reside inside your wordpress site and will be controlled only by your site you can delete this meeting from your uh, zoom account but then if you delete this then it won't work here so let me show you so let's just create an add new and then mm, so we need to select the host and then select your time and then password let's say done password and then click on publish so after you've done this you can simply view your meeting now let's just view the meeting and see how it looks so as you can see the post is rendered like so so you can see there is a countdown timer to you on how many days it is left for the meeting to be started and who is hosting the meeting and when is the meeting these are also in your local time so be not uh, notified of that as well and then you can join via meeting or browser or start meeting like so so uh so that's about it on what type of uh, meeting is the post type meeting and what is the actual live meeting so now to demonstrate on how your meetings would look for the end users so this is i am an author so it's showing end meeting you can end your meeting ahead of your time so what would be this do is uh, enable your users to join this meeting so if you do the end meeting here it won't allow other users to join this meeting again so what, by what that means let me open this so after i clicked on this uh, enable uh, disable join meeting this is already ended 
so I am an author so let me open this on the uh, new tab here so let me just open it over here and see if this uh, in, uh, this user who is not logged in yet can view the meeting or not so yes uh, you can see that meeting this user cannot view the meeting at the moment so if I again go into the back and then enable the join meeting again as a um, author of this meeting so it's redirecting me right now so now it's showing the join meetings again so for the other users we are in incognito mode right now so they can also view and join the meeting so let me just give an example of how you can join the meeting via browser so I'm just clicking on this as a normal user right now and then you will be redirected to this page at the moment yes. <clears throat> so let me just uh, go back to my backend here and then here you can see the start via browser option as well so if I click this then I'll be able to start directly via browser so please note that you need to be logged in to do this for the administrator though so logged in as an uh, zoom account which you are holding at the moment so uh, yeah, I'm already logged in for my zoom account so it's, it's simply directing me to the start page so I've already started this uh, so let's get back to the here we have join. so let's join the meeting using test name click on the join So as you can see the meeting is joining currently. <coughs> you will be seeing here that there is a person waiting. So let me just admit that person here. And then uh, okay, so it's trying to connect. So yeah, uh, you can see that I've already joined uh, joined the meeting from the incognito mode over here. Let me get back to the host here. So you can see there are currently two participants over here so yes that's on how you can join the meeting from the front end and uh, so on so when you click if you click the join via zoom app then it will simply open the join via zoom app at the moment so yeah how we can create a live meeting from this directly so as you can see that we had created a post type meeting earlier with the name adding post type is also created in the zoom so it's showing in the live meetings as well so uh let's just create a live meeting and uh let's not make it bind it to our website here so <clears throat> uh, how we can show these live meetings is by out uh, using the short codes so let's just see how we can do that so click on the add live meeting here or add new meeting over here so just new short code mm, selecting host 16.30 test so create meeting so let me go back to the live meetings again and then if I select this user the new created meeting should appear here so as you can see the new this new short code which I created is has appeared here so you can also again directly start via app like what we did earlier and then uh, start via browser you know uh, like so and then uh, so this is so you need to show this meeting in front end so how would you do that so just click on this it will be copied to your clipboard and then let's go into a phase let's say and then So here you can see we have a uh, little bit here admin page so test and then just add this short code over here and then we'll be good to go publish publish so group page <coughs> so now you can see that the output is here rendering itself so your users can join here directly or join via browser itself so this new is implemented uh, from version 3.2.2 which we are currently using so yeah it's the same as what we were showing earlier 
so that's basically on how you use the sort codes so if you copy these two sort codes and add, uh, add them here then also it would work <coughs> So these are two different IDs, right? So if I update it, let me it here. So it's only two different meetings. So you need to style them a bit uh, using CSS, but then yeah, it's fine. This is all that is needed. So, so now we are going to take a look at the Zoom user section. You can add your users to your Zoom account directly, but uh, this may require some big prerequisites. So as of this recording, Zoom requires you to add in your free free with free uh something like that uh, information and then uh, if you have those then you'll be able to create the account from here if not then it's, it will gonna give, it's, it is going to give you some privilege errors over here so you cannot create any new users from here so you probably need your account uh, be upgraded to pro version as of this uh, recording for now if you need to add other users to your zoom account so what this does is basically add your users to your main zoom account so if you have connected the keys of your main zoom account which is currently for mine is uh, this one so this is the master account right so if you add other accounts from here then this will be the master account others will be the accounts which will reside inside this account so that's how it works so after you add any users then it won't it's not showing here then probably uh, that user has not accepted from their email or you need to flush user cache over here so if you flush the user cache from here then any new users which are already activated then it, it, it those users would show over here so yeah that's it for the user section many of you have been asking me on how to overwrite the templates and it's not showing your uh, your zoom start meeting uh this this page is not showing and all that so i'm just gonna show you a quick demo on how you can overwrite them here so i'm just gonna uh, open my editor at the moment and then this is the uh, plugin which we have here we are using this uh, plugin right now right so uh, what you need to do is go inside this plugin and templates and there is a file called a single meeting.psp over here you probably won't need to uh, do here anything just so you know that this plugin this file is handling your all uh, output on the single page here so uh, the thing you will need to modify probably would be the content single dot dash meeting dot psv file over here so what you need to do is first copy this file so i have copied this and then i've already created this right so i'm just going to delete right now so the team I'm using is Astra at the moment. So uh, the team, this should be inside the team which you are using. So just create a new folder over here and name it to be the Yo -O Conferencing Zoom. So you, as you can see also in the template here file is saying template can be overridden, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, just uh, copy that and then paste over here. So pasting would do now. Let us open this file from the team itself. So if you just copy all and delete them, clean file. So go back to where the output was being handled here. Refresh the page. Yeah, so it took all pages are all gone, right? So uh, just get back to and uh, turn undo the remove and then refresh again. So it's yeah, uh, there. So what you need to do is basically these are. Uh, uh, these structures are not being supported by your team so either you need to rename these classes to something which is uh, by handled by your team uh, or you know uh, something like a row or anything uh, just you should uh, get reference from your team on that so that's basically in how to overwrite the templates for this plugin so yeah for the other things also simply you know uh, everything is simply copied and pasted like so so everything is uh, overwritable here just so that some technical knowledge is needed uh, for the further process.